Hello and welcome from Caravan Salon 2020 and this is the 2021 range from Moriletta Design of Italy. This is a fully integrated motorhome with a queen bed at the back. It'll cost 85 and a half thousand uh, euros plus 36 oh, as well it is 743 meters in length 235 uh, width and a height of 289 empty uh, sorry weight ready to go 3160 sleeps for sits for four belted position 150 liter fridge huge garage door and it could be from three and a half uh, tons now this has got a little bit of extra thrown in So it's got manual climate control for the driver. It's got cruise control. It's got alu 16 inch alu uh, hubs It's got uh, a, a darkening uh, what do you call it? these these please say things so the um, Blackout blinds ESC traction plus leather. It's got uh, underfloor heating. Okay, it's got all of that and uh, So I'm gonna go in but first, in accordance with the regulations, well, it's not in accordance with the regulation, it says you've got to do it often. But as I shall be touching things, I sanitize myself before and after the event. The event before and after touching things, what am I saying? Sorry. Uh, very modern kitchen. Let's go at the back. See the bed. And uh, right, so uh, you may think the bed's a mess. No, it's not. That will protect the mattress a bit. You can see you've got a space down there. What does that mean? Well, uh, in this case, uh, it means uh, that the bed will go up and down. Um, well, I know it will do, but uh, you can get it to go up so it goes above that ledge. So you can have the bed much higher up. You will appreciate that more when you see the garage. Let's look this up. So this bed system introduced by Project 2000 around three years ago. Now see in a number of motorhomes come up there. You've got some storage down here. Uh, here, this bit here. I uh, don't think I keep stuff down there. Maybe towels or something, but. Uh, something that's not going to sort of fall down anyway just sort of get the general drift in well, look, this is down here they've got some storage and it built into the steps yeah and of course at the sides let's put this down before the sides have got wardrobes the mattress actually is pretty light Right, so if there's a fire, uh, one thing you want to do is to get out the van. I'll point that out because there's a sign there, it says that. I know you're probably thinking, oh, does this van have a stay put policy if the thing burns? No, it doesn't. It means you have to get out. Right, other than that, let's see. Let's see if the doors work. Now, I went in the van a little earlier today and they didn't. And I started to make fun of the van and one of the people on the stand was standing behind me. Is this because they've been blocked? No. Well, that should close. That's supposed to close whether or not it's been broken or not. It's not supposed to be held in that position. No. Oh dear. Right, well, I'm not going to touch that anymore before I do break it nice touches in the shower including the name of the van so if you forget what van you're in you can look when you're in the shower in the morning and say oh I'm obviously better that's not my van it's my neighbour's van La Vie est Belle.
double floor will keep you warm three burner hobs and two so well sink and they contain you for your rubbish oh it's a nice big one as well oh that'll do for your uh oh, oh i like that oh that is a nice one oh it's not, i like that i know it's not, it doesn't cost very much but that's great that one keeps your potato peelings and things uh that's if you're peeling potatoes in 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 the same place i peeled i tend to wash potatoes don't, don't peel them very much uh, right, you've got a 12 volt uh, thing here. Uh, so it's USB. It's not, it's not 12, sorry, it's 5 volt, isn't it? And um, shore power there. One thing it's got is this light lighting in here, but it's not on at the moment. And uh, it's worth the lighting. Oh no, sorry, that just puts the lights off. There you go. Yeah, well, I'm not going to see that one on. Fat fridge. Hmm. Okay, doesn't want to open, I'm not going to force it. So there's a couple of things here have already been done. And there's that slidey thing up there, there, sliding door, so that. And, and that doesn't work. Now I've never had, uh, never know, I know it to be deliberately blocked, but never not to work. Things get broken at events. People use too much force. Don't know how things work. That is to be expected, but also, it's quite common for things not to work when the thing, when the motorhome comes out of the factory. USB and uh, uh, sorry, not a USB. I'm getting things. Oh, I'm getting right, right confused. 12 volt plug there. Uh, shore power plug here. You get a 12 volt there. The car light, if you like, with a converter. I'll use that as a USB. Uh, light switches. And that is for the step, which I'm not going to demonstrate because there's something down here. Now, coming to the very front of the vehicle, you can see we've got this uh, wonderful panoramic view. Um, looks great. This is a, the great thing about the integrated van. It's sort of all in, all included, if you like. You've got, it, it seems as though you've got more space. It seems as though it's much wider. But, and this is the big but, if that uh, were to get chipped or something like that, that not only could you, uh, um, might have to be stuck somewhere, but you, the thing's going to have to re be replaced. And, you know, replacing a Fiat Ducato or, or a uh, Sprinter or, or a Boxer or something, the, uh, that, doesn't, that isn't going to cost you too much money. Replacing that's going to cost a fortune. And so I point that one out quite willingly. Okay. Good. So look outside. I don't think I showed that, do not I? No, that's quite, I think that looks quite nice. You got the date, you got the time. Time is I think is correct. Uh, in is 25, out is 22. Well, out is of course inside the hall. Uh, 230 is connected uh, and uh, current state of battery the engine battery and the uh, habitation battery there's no water in it in either fresh or waste and uh, great great you can see everything from up here so just to make the point I'll turn the lights off I think this is turn the thing off Okay, and uh, you, you, uh, the the point of this here, that's the 12 volt, and you may have said, what, that shouldn't have gone off now. Okay, we'll leave that one. I don't know if that's working or not. You may have said, why, how come the lights were still on when the 
uh, when I turned it off. That is because it's on hookup and the, uh, they've got some of these trade events which keeps the, uh, the lights on. Great, okay, thanks very much for watching. I hope you found that interesting. Hear the people clapping. They're, that's a, they're getting the sales teams fired up in the morning. Thanks for watching.